Hi guys, welcome for the session. This is Prakash, math tutor. Let's solve the trigonometry question which I have written on the whiteboard. Here we need to solve this trigonometry question without using trigonometry tables, which means we have to use basic trigonometry identities and we need to solve this question. A given sine 65 divided by 20 cos 25 plus cos 32 divided by sine 58 minus sine 28 into secant 62 plus cosecant square 30. So cos 25, 25 can be written as 90 minus 65. So cos 25 can be written as cos 90 minus 65. Uh, similarly, 58 can be written as 90 minus 32. So sin 58 can be written as sin 90 minus 32. minus sine 28 and uh, secant 62. 62 can be written as 90 minus 28. So secant 62 can be written as secant 90 minus 28. And cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sine theta. So cosecant square 30 can be written as 1 by sine square 30. Now we have cos 90 minus 65 cos 90 minus theta becomes sin theta so here cos 90 minus 65 becomes sin 65 uh, similarly sin 90 minus theta becomes cos theta here we have sin 90 minus 32 becomes cos 32 minus sin 28 secant 90 minus theta becomes cosecant theta so secant 90 minus 28 becomes cosecant 28 plus 1 by sin square 30 now the sin 65 divided by sin 65 cancels out cos 32 divided by cos 32 cancels out so we'll get 1 plus 1 minus sine 28 and secant theta can be written as 1 by sine theta. So secant 28 can be written as 1 by sine 28. And the sine 30 value is 1 by 2. So sine square 30 is 1 by 2 whole square like this. Now 2 minus the sine 28 divided by sine 28 cancels out so we'll get 2 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 by 4 so because 1 by 2 square means 1 by 4 so 2 minus 1 becomes 1 and these 4 goes to numerator so 1 plus 4 becomes 5 so the finally the answer is 5 I hope you understand this question thanks for watching